Well, hello everybody. <laughs> if you're watching this part of the video, you're probably catching the replay. So go ahead and drop a two in the comments below or a hashtag replay, whatever you prefer. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you are hopping on now, well, if you're hopping on live, drop a one in the comments. I'm going to be doing a like pink, smoky, glitter-esque type eye tonight. I actually have somewhere to go for the first time in, gosh, I don't even know. I feel like I come on live and I do my makeup and I'm literally not going anywhere. But tonight I'm actually going somewhere. So that's super exciting, but that means I'm also kind of in a hurry. So, cause I'm always running late, always. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start with my brows, which normally I like to do my brows off camera, but I figured I would go ahead and do them now. So I always brush my brows up and then I'm gonna take my brow scents. I'm gonna use brow scents in the shade light. And this stuff like stays on. And what I like about this is it's really thin and it actually, you can literally create like hair-like strokes. I'm like super excited about this look. I don't do pink looks often. I feel like I always stick with like the orangey tones or just the super simple like brown neutral shades. So I'm excited about this one. Okay. And I always kind of go back and I brush like the hairs back up. And then I just take that again and I just kind of go through and create like hair like structures. <laughs> Okay, so that's a little bit more formed. So I'm gonna go through with this one. I'm gonna brush my hairs back up and do a little hair like strokes here. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I really don't know what I'm listening to, y'all. <laughs> Hey, if you're hopping on, say hello. I'm just doing my brows. I never do my brows on camera. I don't know why I'm doing them, but just felt like it. <laughs> hey y'all, if you're hopping on, drop a one in the comments. Hi, Sarah. What are you doing tonight? Gosh, I swear my brows take a million years. Which is why I always do them off camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, normally I'm in bed around this time. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Are you reading any good books lately? All the brow tips. I really need to do like a brow video. <laughs> cause like, I feel like I'm trying to like rush through cause I just feel like brows are so boring. I don't know. I mean, they're not boring cause like I love to do mine, but I just feel like they take forever. Girl, wash your face is so good. Oh my gosh. Like, I listened to it on Audible. Oh my gosh. That is, that's the best book. I, that's the best book I've read in a long time. I like immediately went and like started downloading all of her podcasts. I'm kind of a weirdo. Okay, so I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take Stance on Pearl. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. This is Shadow Sense. Normally I take concealer, but I kinda wanna try um, Sandstone Pearl today. I'm gonna like carve out my brows, but I gotta be real fast. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking Sandstone Pearl. I'm basically just carving out the brow. This kinda highlights it. And just if you make any mistakes, this is where 
you're gonna clean it up. I don't know if you can tell. That's my favorite part of brows. I feel like it just changes everything. I take it under there. Sarah, um, if you're still there, do you listen to Jenna Kutcher? I really like her too. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Sandstone Pearl again. I wanna hurry and get through my brows. Lori Harder, is she um, the one from, what's it called, Earn Your Happy? Is that what it's called? I don't think I've um, listened to that podcast yet, but I've heard about it. Or like I've just seen it like promoted by everyone else <laughs> that listens to those. How do you make your eyebrow makeup? Oh, the brow scents? Um, really, really like thin, like in thin layers. I'll go listen to her for sure. But like, literally like I always like wipe off a lot. And then I like barely like put it on there, but then I take the spoolie on the other end and I brush it through. Like, I feel like the brow scents can easily get really cakey, but you just have to like work with it. Hi, Kim. How are you? Okay, so we got the brows basically done. But I'm gonna like, actually make my tail a little longer. So hold on. <laughs> okay. And again, just taking that really like Thin strokes, oh gosh, hold on. I'm just gonna take my finger, kinda pull it through like that, okay. I dropped my brush. Hi y'all, if you're hopping on, say hello. Okay, so I'm gonna get started on my eyes now. Well actually, what is going on with my brow? Like, y'all, I need to get my brows done. Okay dropping everything okay so I'm actually gonna take care of terracotta blush scents if y'all went over on my Instagram stories the other day like a couple of days ago I showed y'all that this is like my favorite new trick I'm taking terracotta blush scents which is a blush it's a liquid blush and basically I'm just like putting it underneath my eyes to counteract dark circles because the orange and the terracotta actually like cancels out any sort of blueness. And I like to let it like sit and dry while I'm doing my eye makeup so that, so I drop something over here. So that when I um, go in and like actually do my concealer, it's dry and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use candlelight today. I normally use sandstone pearl, but I wanna use this one. So this is, has like a little bit of a peachy tone. I like this recently because since it's got that peachy tone, it counteracts any sort of blueness. And I have a little bit of blueness like in some veins going on on my eyelid, but I just like to kind of cancel out. So like even when I'm not like wearing eye makeup, I like to sort of cancel those out. Okay. Hey you guys, if you're hopping on, say hello. Okay. So again, I'm taking that candlelight. Doing a little bit there. And that's gonna be a, like my primer. Okay, and it also cancels out any blueness. Okay, so now let me pull up the picture of 
y'all voted today like I think everyone said the second photo which I'm really glad because I don't know why I'm just really drawn to that one so also if you guys have never tried Zevia it's like this is a zero calorie soda no sugar no artificial sweeteners it's so good it's sweetened with stevia I love it like as an alternative to like soda but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I'm gonna take in the crease I'm gonna take pink posy this is super pretty like I don't know I'm gonna swatch it so y'all can see looks like this so it's a super neutral color and it's kind of like it's like a brown mauve like honestly like this would be a beautiful lip color um and let me get my brush okay so i'm gonna take this fluffy brush here it's gonna take a little bit on here on this stem it's gonna start pressing and then going back and forth So I'm just going to keep building on that color with Pink Posy. Can y'all hear the music? Is it too low or is it like perfect? I don't even know. I'm just like dancing to it and I don't even know if y'all can hear it. <laughs> So that is what my crease is gonna look like since I have hooded eyes. I brought it up higher than my actual crease. I'm gonna put a little bit more focus, like I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit. Um, yes, Sarah, I would love to. And I'm glad, okay, perfect. I didn't want it to be like too loud or anything. Y'all, I have this weird, like, normally, oh my gosh, what, what do I just do? Normally, like, when I get ready, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, I do my makeup before I get dressed. So, like, doing my makeup, like, in real clothes, like, it just doesn't feel right to me. And so, just now, like, I always kind of, like, if I get too much on my brush, I always, like, go on my pajamas and, like, I'll like wipe off the excess and I almost did it on my white jeans just now and <sighs> that could have been really bad y'all <gasps> but I didn't I did it on my hand <laughs> uh, it just doesn't feel normal okay okay so here is the first so I am that is pink posy. I'm like kind of kind of obsessed with this shade. Love pink posy. Okay, I'm gonna take some more for the other eye. Yo, I'm really excited about the pink portion, like the actual like glitterish glitterish, is that a word? Glitteriness part. Of the actual look. <laughs> Yo, I don't listen to this music like on a regular basis. I just hope you know that. Like this is like the only time I listen to this music is when I go live. <laughs> uh, I really want to try like going live with like actual like top hits on but I'm afraid I'm afraid they will kick me off Sarah have you gone live like if you're still there have you gone live with like actual music I feel like this almost looks like a sunset. I don't know, I really like it. Okay. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take 
Garnet next, which is this guy right here. I'll swatch it for you. It's like this dark brown, but it's like the perfect dark brown. And that's it next to Pink Posy. So I'm gonna take a very small, like, dense brush here. Well, no. Am I? No, I don't wanna take that one. Hold on, I'm gonna find a different brush. Um, aha, so I'm gonna take this one here. Yeah, I love Garnet, darling. So I'm gonna take this small brush that I obviously use for Garnet. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take just a little bit there and then I'm just gonna pat it here. And I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and start kind of pushing the product upwards because I want to keep the like majority of that garnet lower. And then I want to bring the garnet up just a little bit because I just want it to add the extra depth. Because if you put it like darker on the outer part, just the outer part, it just opens your eye. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more on this side. Okay. We go back and forth and we're going to push it up again into the crease. Y'all, I'm actually kind of like really loving how this is turning out. And I haven't even put the glitter on yet. <laughs> I don't use Pink Posy like as much as I should, I feel like. Pink Posy is such a pretty color. Okay. All right. So that is kind of the matte shade. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work on, hmm. I'm gonna take the glitter now. So I've got two different colors here that I figured I could mix together to create like that perfect shade that's in this photo. So I've got shell glitter which is like the new limited edition one. It's really, really pretty. It's really pink on its own. And then I've got pink opal shimmer, which is really, really light. I'll swatch them so y'all can see them, like side by side. So there's shell glitter. It's really, really pretty. It's super pink and it almost has like a hint of like lilac to it. They both do. So then I'll do pink opal shimmer up here. So this is pink opal shimmer. So as you can see, like it's a lot lighter, but I'm gonna mix those two together and see what I can come up with. I hope it's pretty. <laughs> so I'm just kind of messing around here, but I think it'll be really pretty. Okay, so I just did a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of play around with it. And this is the color I kind of came up with. I'll swatch it. So I'll swatch it like down here. And so this is the color I came up with. I think it's really, really pretty. It's a nice mixture between the two. So that's what I'm gonna use on my eyelid. Okay, so let me take this guy here. I'm just gonna grab some. And so I'm gonna look down So hers isn't super precise. I mean, it's really precise, but it's definitely blended out a little bit. I'm actually just gonna take my finger, just pat. 
I'm gonna leave my eye down since I've got hooded eyes. I really want this to dry because if it doesn't dry, it's going to crease on me. All right. And then again, I'm just gonna pat. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add a little bit more garnet after I do so deeping it, I'm going to deepen it up on the outer part of the eye after I'm done on this side. I'm gonna take a little bit more, especially on that center part of the eye. I feel like in this photo, it's really reflective there. I might even take just some pink opal shimmer by itself. I really want this to dry and then I'll go in and I will make sure that it's blended just a little bit better because her the photo is not a super cut crease like this okay so I'm gonna take that garnet again it's gonna start blending upward <laughs> I'm just adding that depth back while the pink opal and the shell glitter are drying. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a brush. I didn't put any extra product on. It's just a little dirty. I'm basically just making that cut crease there not so cut, <laughs> not so harsh. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so pretty. Okay, so those are the eyes. I'm going to finish up the face, obviously, and I'm going to do the lower part of the lash line here. And I want to brighten up my um, brow bone and my inner corners. I'm just going to take Snow Shadow Sense, which is a matte white. I love this stuff. I'm obsessed. It's a problem. I think I've gone through like, I don't even know how many I've gone through, but I've gone through a ton. <laughs> it's like the best inner corner highlight in the world. It's so bright. I love it. This brush is probably too big, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm really digging this eye look, y'all. Like, really digging it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead should probably wipe this off my hand, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my face. Oh gosh, I still didn't do my brow bone. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I'm just gonna take my snow. I'm gonna highlight right underneath my brow. Bone there. Oh gosh. I'm actually just gonna take my finger. All my brushes are dirty. I need one of those um, color switches, whatever they're called. Is that what they're called? <laughs> a color switch? I think it is. I really need one. 
again, I'm just like taking that snow right there. I feel like it just makes my eyes look so much more like lifted and open. Just gonna take that brush. I'm looking at the mirror behind me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my color correcting tint and moisturizer and my foundation I love mixing the two together because this is like super full coverage and this is supposed to be like a sheer to light coverage but I feel like it has a lot more coverage than that I don't know but basically I like to tone down my foundation I like it to have more of a dewy effect on the skin so I'm just mixing the two together just a one-to-one -one ratio I'm using the shade Lights in the Tinted Moisturizer and the shade Almonds in the foundation. I'm just looking for my foundation brush and I can't find it. This'll, this'll be good. This is a huge Morphe E1. I actually love this brush. I always forget about it, like for foundation though. <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> but I love it. y'all if you're hopping on I just have like color corrector under my eyes like it's actually a blush it's a liquid blush but I'm letting it sit there and dry before I put on my concealer it's like the best color corrector ever completely cancels any sort of like dark circles I typically like to have like if I do more coverage anywhere, I typically like it kind of in the center of my face. So that's kind of where I'm going with any additional like layers of the foundation, a little mixture I've got going on. It's just in the center of my face. And I typically don't like to put foundation underneath my eyes just because I'm I'm gonna go in there with concealer anyway and I don't want to have that like double like layer going on because I feel like that just looks cakey and I just don't want to do that so I'm gonna make another little mixture for under my eyes okay so I'm gonna take my light color concealer here and my white my white if it will even focus I don't even know it's like my best friend it's super brightening under the eyes I actually just mix the two together the light works really well for me for like blemishes but for under my eyes and just for like brightening purposes like I really like the white mixed in with the light So what I do, I just mix them like a one-to-one -one ratio again. And I'm just gonna like dab it right there. I'm not gonna do like the big triangle or anything. I feel like that's just too much. And this concealer is so pigmented. I don't feel like I really need it. And I can like spread it like that. And I can just always go back and add another thin layer if I want to. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Again, I'm just taking this brush, I'm kind of bringing it up, and I'm almost like wiping away any sort of excess that created like more of a rounded eye because in the photo, she has a very, has a very like cut line there. And so just doing this like layer by layer, it just it's not cakey it leaves it like super clean very natural but still like almost like a flawless finish especially under the eyes and y'all can see that snow coming through oh, love snow okay so now I'm gonna take just a little bit of the light concealer I'm gonna go back on any of my blemishes now which I've just got like a couple of here Uh, yeah, a 
couple down here. There's one up here. <laughs> and then so I'm gonna take that same brush, kind of tap it. Okay. Super simple to do. My eyes look bright and lifted. Okay. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish my face and then I'm gonna finish my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna do, hmm. I'm gonna do my Cafe Olay foundation. So I love using foundation as a bronzer. So this is just the foundation in just the shade Cafe Olay. It works super well. This is just a real techniques brush. I'm just going to just kind of buff that in there just where like the sun would naturally hit I love it because it looks super natural it's not too much like at all um but I can always go back and like add more and what I like about it is that it also has a little bit of coverage because it's a foundation so if like you know I didn't happen to cover what I wanted to in that area this will cover too because it's also a foundation. Okay. Okay. It's really, really beautiful, you guys. Like, it just looks so natural. This is like probably one of my favorite like ways to bronze like ever. I don't really like using powder bronzers anymore. I don't really like using powder anything anymore, if we're being honest. <laughs> um, I feel like powder just on me, like I don't have super oily skin. I have acne prone skin, but my skin's not like super oily or anything. It's pretty normal, but like I just don't really like wearing powder or anything. I don't know. Like, <laughs> um, I know a lot of people like, say that they don't really like creams or liquids because like they don't stay on but like these do I promise okay so that's the bronzer I feel like it's blended I can't really see all the lights okay so then I take a little bit of my tinted moisturizer I'll take it just back on my foundation brush and so what I do with this I just take a little bit like that and I basically just use my tinted moisturizer just to kind of clean up. Just to t I just do the tinted moisturizer, not my foundation or concealer or anything, because it's just gonna add so much more coverage. And like, I don't like to do the whole like baking method because I don't like powder, it just dries me out. And it, I don't know, I just don't really like it. So that's what I do to clean up the area. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my highlight and I like to do highlights. Um, before blush recently because I feel like if you just do highlight last thing it just almost just looks like a stripe whereas like if you do your bronzer and then you do your highlight and then you do your blush you can almost like blend them all together and it just looks seamless so as you can tell I'm basically out I'm like <sighs> getting the last little bit here And that's my highlight. I'm obsessed with this highlight. Obviously, I'm go it's, it's gone. So I'm putting it here over my brows. It just looks, it's such a pretty glow. And then I'm just doing it on the bridge of my nose, but only on the bridge, not like on the tip. Kind of on my cutest bow. I'm not taking any more product on these areas. Here, it's kind of dabbing there, but now I'm getting more product. I'm going in on this side for my cheekbone. And I always like to bring it on my cheek. I don't know why. I just like to bring it on my cheek. I feel like once I put on my blush, it just blends so beautifully with my blush. Okay. Super natural. Makes my skin look super glowy and natural and I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to do... um. With, actually, I was gonna do Toasted Rose Blush Scents, but 
I think since we did pink posy like in the crease, I'm gonna do pink posy as a blush. So this is actually an eyeshadow. I'm gonna use it as a blush. Mm, let me get a brush. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit here. And you have to work with it pretty quickly. As you can see, it's like really pigmented. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush again and just kind of blend it out just a little bit more. It's gonna take that blush brush. Y'all, I'm like really obsessed with this look. Like I'm obsessed. I wanna wear this like all the time. <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> would that be acceptable? Legitimately, would that be acceptable if I did this makeup look every day of my life? <laughs> Cause I'm like really digging it. Okay. Like this has to be one of my favorite looks I've ever done in a long time. In like a, a long time, okay. So now that my blush is done, you see how it just like blends so beautifully. Like if you wait till the end to do the blush, to blend that bronzer and that highlight together, it just looks like it just all goes together. I don't know. So, okay, I'm gonna take Garnet, but I'm only gonna take the brush that I use Garnet with. I'm not gonna get any more Garnet for now. And I'm just going to like kind of brush up under here, kind of like liner. I'm not gonna do too much. I just wanna see what's left on the brush before I go and add more. And the reason why I pull down is because I've got like these little fine lines. I just kind of pull down just a teeny little bit. You wanna be really gentle with the skin around your eyes. So there's that. So I didn't even put any more product on my brush there, y'all. So like if you have a garnet or you have like any sort of like shadow sense colors, like it all are so pigmented, you want to be really careful with how much you use. But they like will last you forever. Okay. So now I'm going to continue to just blend. Y'all, blending is key for everything. And I have to say, y'all, like, the look that... I'm, like, super pumped about this. The look basically does not call for liner. Like, which makes me super excited. Because y'all know I don't like liner. I don't like powder and I don't like liner. Like, what kind of person am I? I'm a monster. <laughs> Okay, so that is a garnet. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of pink posy. Again, like that, the color I used on my cheeks and the color I used in my crease. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit, not a lot at all, but I'm basically just gonna like brush it under here just to like make it super like monochromatic in a way. Y'all know I love using like the same products all over. I can't help myself. I just feel like it makes everything just blend really well. Okay. Is that Dawn hopping on? Hi Dawn. <sighs> okay. I'm just putting a little bit more garnet. I mean, I didn't take any more, y'all. Y'all know I didn't take any more. Okay. So, there is that. Now I'm going to get my mascara because I feel like what kind of look doesn't have mascara? And then we're going to do the lip. I basically, like, pull my lashes out. Like, let's be honest here. I've actually lost my lash sense, so there's that. So I'm going to take this guy here. What song is this? Y'all, 
y'all if you like this like throw me some hearts like I feel like I'm just talking to myself like <laughs> which I mean I can do all night like I'm I can talk to myself that's totally fine Gosh, I feel like watching someone put on mascara is so boring. Like, <laughs> is watching me put on mascara boring? Like, I feel like I just need to go get some lash extensions again because, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I'm just ready to get the lips. Yo, I feel like my lashes have grown so much. It's not even funny. Okay, so, oh man, that looks really voluminous over here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab So when I pictured this look, I really wanted um, a nude lip. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a really nude lip. Although I feel like a berry would be really pretty too, but. I really wanna do a nude lip. Okay, so I'm gonna let the mascara dry. While I'm like, y'all excuse my bra straps, okay? Just excuse them. I'm gonna um, wipe off. Gosh, I don't even have anything. What is wrong with me? Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna wipe off like any excess makeup on my lips. Okay. And now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my favorite new color. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna take my favorite color, nude pink. <laughs> so excited. I've never applied it on camera. So I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do one layer of nude pink. And I'm gonna use all my favorites tonight. I'm really excited. So one layer of nude pink, two layers of bombshell diamond. Oh God, excuse me. Two layers of bombshell diamond and pink sand gloss, which is my new favorite gloss as well. So we're using all my favorites. Okay, so one layer of pink sand. No, nude pink. What am I even saying? One layer of nude pink. color <sighs> okay okay so one layer of nude pink is there now we're gonna do two layers of bombshell diamond which again is another one of my like favorite shades in the world okay um I wear this all the time it literally has crush up diamonds in it it looks like this Oh, Angel, yeah, I get really excited when it comes to lipstick. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> I'm just so weird. <sighs> ah! Y'all. Yes. This is what I wanted. That's really what I say, like really. Okay, I'm gonna do another layer of bombshell diamond because I just, I want another layer of bombshell diamond. Ah! Okay, this song doesn't go with my excitement. It's a problem. Thank you, Sheldy. This one's fun. I really, really like this look a lot. Okay, so, oh gosh, I need to fix something. 
I know, Angel. <laughs> I know you're teasing. All right. So that is one layer of nude pink, two layers of long diamond. I'm going to let it dry. While that dries, I'm going to go back and I'm going to curl my lashes so they can be lifted up because my eyeballs are small. <laughs> I want big eyeballs. <laughs> so weird okay no wonder I'm socially awkward I say the strangest things okay okay so the oh my gosh I like can't see because of comments but like hold on oh I love this lip okay I can't even have to contain my excitement anymore okay here's my glossy gloss and then we're gonna do y'all know I put glossy gloss before like every specialty gloss I'm like so excited I'm actually going somewhere tonight and I never go anywhere like on the weeknights like ever so i'm actually going somewhere and i'm excited because i actually get to wear this look and this is one of my favorite looks that i've done in a really long time <sighs> y'all this is pink sand you need pink sand that's all i'm telling you hello <laughs> freaking gorgeous it's really pretty by itself too y'all i love it okay so I'm gonna take, where's my spray? Anyway, where's my spray at? Okay, I'm gonna take my little setting spray over here. <laughs> you no, know, I don't have a date. I don't. <laughs> Woo, okay. So that was actually an illuminating setting spray that I made. If y'all wanna see like what it was, just like message me. <laughs> Because it was kind of really fun. I made it. But anyways, y'all have a good night. This is the finished look. Throw me some hearts in the comments if y'all like it. I like really love this look. I feel like it just, I don't know. There's just something about it. Um, but yeah, I just, I really love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share this video. And if you're not already, click my nose and somewhere. I think it's up here. No, where is it up here? I don't know. Anywhere, just, anyway, just click my nose and click follow. Anyways, I'm gonna hop off here. I'm probably late for my not date, uh, my date with a friend, but probably late, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here so she's not waiting on me. So <laughs> y'all have a good night and see y'all next time. Bye.